Back in the 1950s and early 60s, American fashion changed after World War II. After the war, women went back to their traditional roles as stay-at-home wives and mothers. Likewise, their clothing emphasized idealized femininity. Popular then were long skirts, nipped in waists, dainty hats, gloves, and handbags. Then, in the mid-60s, as society became less structured, Women preferred shorter skirts, looser dresses, and brighter colors, and styles that brought out the girlish figure. That was American fashion back in the day. Now it's a whole new style. We do it for fun, yeah, yeah, yeah. We just do it for fun, we do it for fun, we do it for fun, we do it for fun. In the 1800s, women in the Far East dressed in robe-like garments called kimonos. Kimonos were tied to the waist with a big sash that is made of silk or other similar material. These kimonos were worn by both men and women, but most often by females. The feminine kimonos were very colorful with vibrant designs. The male kimonos tended to be plain with duller colors. The kimono is a very traditional part of Asian fashion and has been around for centuries. In recent years, many fashion designers have been intrigued by the Asian look. One modern designer draws on the imagery of the traditional Chinese art to create clothing for modern life. Women in India back in the 1800s were dressed with sadis that were 9 feet long. A sari is a long silky material that was wrapped around their bodies. Women will also often wear a hat with their outfits because they gave them a more conventional look.